Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. There. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. Uh, how are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off, but the others are not so well either. Oh, only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoitre the area. We need to find the damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that too. Anna, Tamir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Crest, can your rail car pull the train? Artyom, I've got something for you. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Now, you can do it yourself. It's quite <laughs> simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all the sand around. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning.
You made a mistake coming here. I surrender! So, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. In my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas. And the communication center could have them. I think it's at that lighthouse, so you can get there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on it. Once I'm done, I might go in there.
Why you, Mircha? I, I know not you at all. You come check on us, yes? From Baron come from tower, yes? Forgive me, Ursa. I stupid slave. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. that <laughs>
my friend, the Moon Eye by Lair, as we call them, turned my people into slaves. Wanted to put me in shackles, too. <laughs> Better death. Read you loud and clear. Your man helped me. I mean you're dead. But why are you here? For five years, nobody would come here save for Moon Eye by Lair. Kill. What do you know of the antennas near your lighthouse? There used to be a comm center before the war. My mother worked there. She was an officer. The facility is long abandoned. I went there after war to look for mom's traces, but found nothing. Abandoned? Killed? We helped you. So could you help us in return by leaving our men inside? Good. I will help. Arjun, you have to find the archive. We should be near the command center. Look for shots taken after the war, starting with the year 2013. The Nier will soon be there. You can count on him. Miller, over and out. If we go, we better go now, before more of them arrive. Use the workbench if you need to fix something. There are all kinds of danger. A smart man wouldn't go there. You seem smart, but you do not have choice. <laughs> <laughs> 